whatever, whatever you are. Go back to hell where you came from. My soul to take in 3D rated R. Pepsi Max, please. Good song. Great song. So, Pepsi Max has zero calories, huh? Yep. How many calories? Zero. Zero? Zero. What are you doing? YouTube. Oh. Pepsi Max. Zero calories. Maximum Pepsi taste. SNY is the new TV home of UConn football. Featuring live games, packed with highlights and analysis, an inside look at the latest Huskies news, one-on-one -on -one exclusive interviews, and special profiles, all on SNY, the new TV home of UConn football, available on Cox TV. This week, the Huskies hit the road and head to Philly, UConn at Temple. Coverage begins with City Pregame, Saturday at 1130 on SNY. Can your family afford another tax right now? Dick Blumenthal thinks you can. He personally lobbied the U.S. Senate to pass a new national energy tax. It will increase the average Connecticut electric bill nearly $1,000 a year. Gas will increase 68 cents per gallon, and Connecticut will lose over 13,000 jobs. We can't afford another tax, and we can't afford Dick Blumenthal. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. So we got an advanced copy of Halo Reach. We've been playing all night. This game was so sick. You've seen Halo, right? Think bigger. So many things to do. We barely even scratched the surface tonight. There's more maps, there's more weapons. The graphics are amazing. Origin World 2.0. Armor lock, jetpack. This game is awesome. Right now, when you come to Best Buy to get Halo Reach, we're gonna get you a $20 gift card. We know games. Best Buy knows games. Rated M for mature. Hurry in and load up on food and great savings during the PetSmart Treat Your Pet Sale. Right now, you'll find hundreds of ways to treat your pet for under $10, from toys to treats and more. At PetSmart, we love to see healthy, happy pets. Alphas play rough. That is right. Omegas just play. Oh, my butt. Omegas. But when they work together, Trust me. they're unstoppable. You know, we make a pretty good team. Alpha and Omega 3D. Ready PG in 3D and 2D theaters tomorrow. Everybody gather up, please. Very important announcement. TBS Employee of the Week is Jim Halpert. We should celebrate with a very classy event, a night to remember. TBS pays homage to Scranton's most charming prankster with four episodes of The Office All About Jim Halpert, Tuesday starting at 8. I'm taking it very seriously. On TBS, very funny. And of course, classy. fashion guru who always makes it work. Please welcome Tim Gunn, everybody! I have to tell you, I'm always on my sartorial toes <laughs> when I think about you because of you. Do you think I'm stylish, Tim Gunn? You're incredibly stylish and very well tailored. Wow. All right. Hey, all week, and even through Twitter and through blogs, people were, were wondering how you and I would get along. Why? I think we're made for each other. We're cut from the same cloth. I, I mean, look at it. These are two stylish. I actually totally agree. I have a huge amount of respect for you, if only for your fashion sense. And, if you, I, and then I can start counting the ways that I have additional respect and admiration for you. All right. So I'm thrilled to be with you. If Prop 8 comes back, is we're getting it on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a hell of a closet. <laughs> Here's what I like about you. Not only do you talk pretty, <laughs> You were an architect. Here's what I think is great in fashion. You, you were an architect at one well, time. Well, I studied it briefly. I actually was a sculptor. Okay, you were a sculptor yes. and you studied architecture. But I think that in, some, in, in fashion, there's lines, almost like a building. There's lines. I say this all the time. Fashion is the closest design form to architecture. And the two together are the closest to a fine art. Absolutely. They're, they're kindred spirits. Let's talk about fashion crimes. What is uh -oh. a fashion crime? 
When it comes to a serious fashion crime, I am very footwear oriented, so I was very interested in Thomas Jane being here. And I'm so glad you're back to your sartorial best with these shoes. <laughs> you're um, sartorial the best. <laughs> hey, I have a thing about Crocs. That's You that's do, you I hate like. Crocs. I do. Check out what Danny DeVito wore on my show oh. last night. What? No. <laughs> no. George! What, oh, who, what is a crock to you? What does a crock mean? Aside from a crock of <laughs> what is a crock? Oh, listen, don't think I haven't thought about, about that crock? particular metaphor. I mean, it's a piece of plastic <laughs> quasi footwear. If, if you actually look at it very matter of factly, it looks like a hoof. <laughs> so it's a way of marrying man and beast. <laughs> I am horrified. And that's just from the chest down. But can I say something to you? And, I'm, and I don't mean to mock Mr. DeVito, but I find it disrespectful to come on your show, your show wearing, listen to me, show shoe, to come on your show wearing Crocs. I can't imagine. I love that, see, I love that about him, style. How about this? I've seen more butt crack than I, than I care to see. What about those low rise jeans that, that every, even dudes are well, wearing, what the hell? I have to tell you something about a, a low-rise Jane. In fact, it's very forgiving when it comes to fit, but it doesn't, doesn't mean we want to see what's there, covered up with, with a top that goes beyond the waistband of that Jane. Right. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Don't you think? But you know, there's something else I just have to add. Yeah. On the other side of the butt crack <laughs> is the camel toe. Oh. <laughs> the camel toe? What, 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 why, where does that